Okay, welcome to this short instructional video of how to tie a 4 inch hook length with the ZT Pro. First of all, pull the hook jaws towards you, undo the jaws enough so that you can then put your hook in. Now have the point that's pointing towards you and just place the hook just past the center and tilt it slightly very slightly and then nip it up push that back into place now you want to pull the loop end towards yourself get a piece of line with a hook a loop in the end place that onto the peg push that forward now you change hands so I'm changing from holding it in my left hand to my right hand now come underneath here and place your finger over the line here onto the front peg and come round as you come round just push that finger down and that just guides the line so that it comes round that shoulder now, first turn, push it right up to the spade, as you can see there, it's right tight to the spade, now come back. Now that whipping is starting, so it will go down from the spade downwards. Now release the pressure so that you're not pulling it too tight. If you pull it too tight, it will flatten the line. Nice and easy, when you've got enough turns and you're happy, you now use your left hand and push the front prong up. Using your right hand, you come round clockwise, round, let go. Now your hand's free. That line is now trapped. Snip off the excess. Now wet the line before tightening. Okay, now press the back button in and then out. So that's there. Now, with the thumb wheel, start to tighten the knot. That's the knot tight now. Now, undo the hook jaws the hook will pop up sometimes with bigger hooks it doesn't it's not got enough room to pop up so just grab that grab the hook push the front prong and then release the anti reverse and there you go you have you can see it on that background just get a piece of black here a perfectly straight hook length. Now I'll show you how to do a six inch hook length. If I can grab the line. Tighten the non-reverse bearing lock up and place it so it's level with the two grooves. Now pull it back. should already be undone from your releasing the hook, so you just push that in place. Exactly the same as before, but tilt it slightly. Now push that in place, back. The only difference that you're doing this time is you're give it, going to give it one full rotation. And what that's done, that's going to add two inches to that hook length. As you come round, you swapped hands. See how swapping hands, you're coming over the top of the line. I'm coming round, I'm just pushing it to feed it round that shoulder. Then 
top of the spade and then down. Push the prong up and come round. Sometimes you find it easier if you pull it down to that position and you're just coming round. That's now trapped. Cut. Wet the knot. Push the prong. That's nice and tight. Release the hook. Hold the hook. Push the prong. Release. You now have a perfect six inch hook length. Okay, and it's the same, exactly the same with whether you want a six inch, an eight inch, a 12 inch. All you do is you just add two inches each time. So you're starting with four and then you are adding two inches each time. For example, if you want to do 12 inches, you would do four turns on that and then just tie your knot exactly the same. Critical part is that line coming around this shoulder and to do that easily you're coming over with the line here you're coming over and you're just feeding it it's just allow it making it easier to get that line on there okay when you first get your hook tire it, it might not necessarily be right for your hook length box now you will need to find adjust it so do a hook length as I've just explained do a normal 4 inch hook length when it comes off if it's too short or too long then you do this underneath your hook tire you will see a free allen key which is included take this allen key and on this top right hand post you just Take the cap off. Now we've changed this to one grub screw uh, with two two holes. The reason being it just makes it easier not having to undo two. That second hole is there so that if for some reason in the future someone over tightens it and cross threads it or strips the thread, they've got another hole that they can use. Um, these pulleys are actually used for quadcopters at 28,000 RPM um, and they use one grub screw so I don't think anybody will be tying a hook that fast okay so what you do you just crack that now you'll see it's now free moving so if your hook length was slightly too long then you would move it this way if it was too slightly too short then you would move it this way so you just find adjust nip it up now you'll find that that's not quite aligned there and what i find is it's easier to just line it up just undo that grub screw there and it's easier to line it up with that to make sure that they're level and it might take you two or three attempts to get it dead right once it's right it's right for four six twelve push that in and then you're ready to go in the next video I'm going to show you a neat trick um, to make four, three inch hook lengths very very easily thank you